boom, life in the face. Can you even believe it? Hi, I'm Mal Pals and New Pals. Today's video is going to be my full coverage foundation routine and that is because I have an immune situation going on and uh, I thought it would be helpful to show you how I fully cover my face <laughs> like you know layer it on to hide this I mean this is all over and I also have it on my chest and uh, my legs so fun autoimmune issues but if you do struggle with breakouts or redness or anything like that this foundation routine is gonna be helpful to you. So first step is primer and what I love to use when I am having skin struggles is a tinted moisturizer. And today I chose the Unisex Healthy Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. I love this, I've used this for a long time, repurchased this. It is less coverage than a normal tinted moisturizer, but I love tinted moisturizers as primers because you get a little bit of coverage, SPF usually, and um, they just kind of start out your face with a nice base, and it does hold your makeup all day because it is meant to last anyway. This one is also hydrating. If you don't know already, I have very dry skin. This comes out white and then the pigments in there show up as you blend it in. So I'm just applying a little bit right here and I'm gonna focus it on where I need the coverage most. So I'm gonna start there and you'll see the pigment show up as I blend it into my skin. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop a little under my eyes as well. I even have that rash like underneath my chin and down my neck, it is so annoying. Now that this is settled for a few seconds, you can see my skin is already a little more even and it looks a little bit healthier. Of course, it's not fully covered, we're getting to that. But that's this is why I love using a tinted moisturizer as a primer and I love, love, love this one for sure. So I am going old school. When I need full coverage, I always wanna reach for a full coverage foundation immediately, and then I end up applying too much. So what I love to use and take the time to do, the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I have repurchased this and used this for years and years and years. It's actually the foundation that I used on my model on Glam Masters. And just because I love it so much, it photographs well, it wears all day, you can use it on your body as well because it is waterproof and it's great for warmer weather as we sweat, swim. I'm using the shade NC15 because look at me. I'm taking the Beauty Blender Pro. This is key for a fuller coverage look. I personally, for dry skin, don't enjoy most foundation brushes for foundation application because it tends to kind of kick up any dead skin that I have or dead dry patches on my face. So I like to use a Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender Pro to me lays down a thicker coverage, fuller coverage foundation because it is more dense than like your average Beauty Blender. Like you can feel the difference even when this Beauty Blender is dry. Start applying this to the center of my face. And MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing is a little more, it's like medium coverage, but it can be built up really, really beautifully, and that's key to a full coverage foundation routine because when you start out with too much and that's something that's like full, full coverage and you don't build it up, it's gonna look cakey throughout the day. But if you layer it on and let that layer sit and like kind of settle, kind of like letting your curls cool when you do your hair and then apply a little more as you go, you're just gonna end up with a better result. Dipping back into the foundation, I'm gonna apply a little on my forehead. And this foundation in particular, work with it pretty quickly. It wants to kind of set quickly because it is a waterproof type of formula. So it's a little sticky as you apply it. But once, you know, settled and dried down, it's not as sticky. So as you can see, that's already a great amount of coverage, but I'm gonna go in now, not applying the foundation to my non-problem areas, but I'm gonna go ahead and conceal with this foundation, the rest of it on the back of my hand around where I have my problem areas. I personally like to build up coverage with foundation rather than a concealer on the face, just because concealer has a thicker consistency and with my dry skin, 
it usually wants to settle around the dryness, especially when I have like an immune rash. And also it's hard to find a separate concealer that will match my foundation. It's either too warm or too yellow, and then you can really see like where I tried to cover. And also, you know, even though this is a full coverage situation, I would rather some imperfection show than like look like that's an imperfection you tried to cover up. Okay, now time for concealer and I'm using my fullest, fullest cover concealer today just for under my eyes, you know? I quickly applied my cream bronzer. If you don't know, I like to apply cream bronzer and cream blush before I conceal and powder down. Today I used Fenty Beauty's Butter Biscuit and then Fenty Beauty Petal Poppin, which I feel like is just like a really pretty pink that has enough peach in it to not look like doll baby pink. So, so today for concealer, I'm going to use Hourglass's Vanish Concealer in the shade Cream. And I love this concealer. I've raved about it for a very long time. A little goes a long way. By a little is means like you can use a little, but I use a lot. <laughs> and I love this because it doesn't get crepey and it doesn't pick up on my dry skin on my cheeks or anything but you see how the foundation already concealed like my problem areas where it was red so i don't need to take another concealer on my face and really technically the amount of foundation that we used all over the face and built up was about one pump of another foundation i swear by this foundation and have for years so if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try. Boom, dark circles be gone. This is the full coverage powder that I like to use when I am on a full coverage type of day. It is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation, actually. This is a blurring powder foundation. It does give the skin, it kind of mattifies it, but it lets it breathe and move. So that's why I love it, even though it's matte. And this is the shade Y215, which is what I'm also in in there. Oh my gosh, you know, the foundation. <laughs> For under my eyes, I'm going to just take my beauty blender and I'm just going to lightly press that onto my eyes. So this definitely has coverage, so watch out. It's on the fuller coverage side. So make sure that you do get your match on your face. It really does give the flip face a nice blur. So I'm just going to set my foundation with my sponge, leaving it a little damp, go all over lightly, even over that blush. And I'm just gonna build this up a little bit on the problem areas. I love this powder foundation for problem areas because it really sets that in without making it look dry. I don't know how Makeup Forever did it, but they did it and I love it. So just take a quick peek at that. You know what I'm saying? I would say we are covered and blurred. And to finish everything off, since we have a lot of layers going on. I like to use a setting spray, not necessarily to make things last because we do have a lot of products on our face that last a really long time, but to bring back life to the face. This is a favorite, you guys. It's the Patrick Ta Major Low Dewy Milk Mist. I love this stuff even when I'm not wearing makeup, but to, you know, just make sure because we do have a lot of coverage in the powder, in the foundation, in the concealer. So to make it all kind of come back to life on the face, I just like to apply liberally and instantly like, I can even feel the places that the mist didn't get because of my fan, but boom, life in the face. Can you even believe it? I feel very like antique today, you know? What a difference that spray makes. I can see it in the mirror. I'm sure you guys can see it on camera. Wow. That is all for today's video. I hope that this was helpful to those of you who struggle with maybe some things that really need to be covered, but you don't like to look cakey, especially my fellow dry skin gals. I promise that this routine really, really nails it all day long. I will try to include, if I remember, a picture at the end of the day to show you how well all these products wear together. Of the makeup that I applied, I quickly just went and threw Topaz in the crease and underneath my lash line. This is the Kylie, the bronze palette. I love this eyeshadow palette. And then for highlight, I went in with the Pat McGrath Lab Sublime Skin Highlighter 
and I really, really I kind of knocked this around and knocked one loose. Let's not talk about it, okay? I really like mixing these two together. So that's what I have on my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little on my forehead. And I really like to apply this with a stippling brush. And I applied it with the small duo fiber F55 from Sigma. And I just like to go in and mix and kind of go through. Cause this is like a really nice duochrome white and gold. And this is a little bit bronze. For lips, I have on ABH Stripped. I forgot how much I love Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, liquid lipsticks. And you talk about mask proof, girl. And then I use KKW Beauty uh, lip liner in 1.5. Everything else I'm wearing mentioned, talked about will be in the info below. So let us know in the comments what is your favorite full coverage routine when you just need a little more you know, on the face. I personally do a light to medium coverage for every day. I like a glowy seeing my skin look, but this really, I feel like is the same, just more coverage when I need it. So let us know what your routine, what your routine is in the, in the comments below, my Alabama showing. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and turn on your notifications so you get notified every time I upload. Follow me on Instagram at imallorybrook and everywhere else across the wonderful internet landscape because that is my name and that's who I am, at imallorybrook, Pinterest, Twitter, everywhere. I just feel so much better now that I have all this makeup on. Goodbye. All right.